గొంతుకొకటి కోరికొకటి తెలంగాణ వెలసి నిలిచి ఫలించాలి భారతాన మై హార్ట్ కంగ్రాచులేషన్స్ అండ్ బెస్ట్ విషెస్ టు ది హానరబుల్ చైర్మన్ తెలంగాణ స్టేట్ లెజిస్లేటివ్ కౌన్సిల్ అండ్ హానరబుల్ స్పీకర్ స్టేట్ లెజిస్లేటివ్ అసెంబ్లీ అండ్ ది హానరబుల్ మెంబర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద లెజిస్లేటివ్ కౌన్సిల్ అండ్ అసెంబ్లీ my congratulations also go to the legislative assembly members who won the recently concluded elections with the people's affection and support and who have assumed their duties my congratulations to all the new ministers i am happy to see the new cabinet the cabinet is a judicious combination of experience and the new and is led by a young leader i am of firm opinion that the combination of youth and experience in the cabinet would fulfill its promises and reach its goal my congratulations to the newly formed cabinet i sincerely wish that your journey in the service of the people will be fruitful full of contentment and victorious throughout your term of the office very soon we we are assuring in new year in the new year 2023 will remain in history as the year that has brought a new beginning to telangana's journey people are experiencing the change already i am happy to inform you that the fruits of change will reach the people in full measure in the new year our government is taking steps to give freedom liberty equal opportunities and social justice to people along with making governance within the reach of each and every citizen i am sure the state will tread the path of success progress and bring light to the lives of farmers women youth and the poor people in telangana state have given a clear verdict to liberate themselves from the 10 years of repression in the recently concluded elections their message is clear and loud i appreciate the collective wisdom of the people telangana is breathing fresh air of freedom and liberty now telangana is liberated from autocratic rule and dictatorial tendencies the people's verdict unequivocally stated that it would not tolerate any repression this verdict became a cornerstone for civil rights and democratic rule the iron barricades that divided the rulers from the people have been dismantled i feel proud to say that the glass houses and the obstacles have been removed and the true people's governance has begun the honorable chief minister sri anumula revent redigaru at the time of swearing in clearly indicated his government's aims and objectives he made it abundantly clear that in a democracy the rulers are the people's servants and they are not feudal lords our governance is moving forward and taking steps in this direction the prajawani program is the first step in this direction this is people's government and it is people's governance people can express their problems and get their grievances redressed by the government at any time now the situation is such that each and every member of society can proudly declare that this is their government our governance will soon become a role model for the entire country the telangana state was formed as per the aspirations of four crore people the supreme sacrifices of the youth and the relentless struggle uh, struggle of students my government is on the firm view that elected governments should govern keeping in view the sacrifices made by people and they should act with the utmost responsibility my government's aim is to govern keeping in view the aspirations of martyrs the struggles undertaken by the students and the desire of civil society i convey 
that the present elected government thanks all the people, parties, leaders and then UPA government and the then Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh for creating a separate Telangana state in 2014. Respecting the decades old aspiration of people. On behalf of four crore Telangana people, the present government thanks Mrs. Sonia Gandhi, the then chairperson of UPA, for the key role she played in the process of creating Telangana into a separate state. I once again pay my humble tributes through this house to the martyrs who laid down their precious lives. At the time of elections, we gave word to the people that we would get Indrama Rajyam in Telangana. We made it clear that there would be any, there would not be any repression or dictatorial tendencies in the governance. We have declared six guarantees for the welfare and development of the people. In time, with promises made, Chief Minister Sri Revan Redigaru signed the file giving legal sanctity to the six guarantees soon after his swearing in. This proved the commitment and dedication of our government. My government is taking the first step along the path of welfare for the people of the state. My government will stand by each and every promise it has made. Within 48 hours of entering the governance, my government has implemented two out of six guarantees. My government's aim is to make women in Telangana state prosperous as Mahalakshmi's. As part of this, women are given free travel facility in the RTC buses and I am happy to inform you that this free travel scheme came into being on December 19th, 9th. Other promises made under the Mahalakshmi scheme will be implemented very soon. My government has a definite plan to provide better medical and health services to the poor. No one should lose his life his or her life because he or she is poor. My government's topmost priority is public health. Public health. Hence, the government has revamped the Rajiv Arogeshri scheme which was implemented during the Congress regime in the past. Rajiv Arogeshri became very popular and talked about in the country. I am happy to inform you that Rajiv Arogeshri was revised keeping in view of the increase in medical expenses and to suit to the present day needs and its, serv and its services are broadened. Under the new Rajiv Arugeshri scheme, the poor can avail medical facilities up to 10 lakhs. My government has started the implementation of the second guarantee in this manner. This, is, this will provide Shakar to poor and middle class families to a great extent. The government will lay out a definite and time bound action plan to implement other guarantees promised in the poll manifesto such as Mahalakshmi scheme, Raitu Barosa, Guruha Jodi, Indrama houses, Yuvavikasam and Chaita within 100 days of its governance. The government is dedicated to implement each and every promise it made in the party manifesto and the government will stand by it. The government is making this promise through this house as a witness. Let me inform people through this house that the administration is actively preparing an action plan based on the promises made in the poll manifesto. We are assuring people in the state that we will implement the Varangal Declaration made for farmers, the Hyderabad Uva Declaration made for youth, the SC and ST Declaration announced in Chevella and the BC Declaration promised in Kamaradi and its letter and spirit, in its letter and spirit very soon. As promised, we will identify the families of martyrs, allot them 250 square yards of the houses sites and also pay them a honorarium. Our government is committed to provide quality, uninterrupted power supply to the agriculture sector. As promised in the declaration, we will give a minimum support price for each and every crop. There will be an action plan to waive the farm loans to the tune of rupees 2 lakhs. As promised during the elections, we will take up an action plan to give patas 
to the assigned lands and podo lands. We have promised people that we will order an inquiry into the irregularities committed and lack of quality and corruption in the construction of the Medigatta, Medigatta and Annaram barrages of Kalishwaram project. Our action plan will be in this direction. The government is committed to protecting and getting Telangana state's rightful share of Krishna river water. Our aim is to get national status for the Palamuru Ranga Red Irrigation Project which is a boon to South Telangana. Our government has decided to complete the project and make Palamuru, Nalgonda and Rangaredi districts into a fertile districts. Our government's aim is to complete the Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Paramita Chavala project started in the previous Congress regime and provide irrigation water to the upper reg region of the Adilabad and other districts. We will, we will implement each and every promise 